Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the war game North Africa, the 2021 war game from Multi-Man Publishing, covering the campaigns in North Africa in World War II. Let's jump right in and get started. All right, let's jump in and get started and take a look at North Africa, Africa Corps versus the Desert Rats. Some bigger features, of course, it's published by Multiman Publishing. The designer is Dean Essig, and the developer here is Lee Forrester. This is a game in the standard combat series, and if I, I, I'm, this would be my first experience, I think, playing one of these. So I'm not only unboxing, but getting a look at it, but my understanding of the standard, standard combat series, of course, is that there's a lot of games in this series. This is game number 22. It's designed as kind of an entry-level war game series. So we're not going to see a ton of rules. We're not going to see a ton of complexity. It's designed to be, even in the rule book itself, it mentions kind of beer and pretzels, get at it, start playing, not a ton of rules overhead, fast-moving games, hex encounters, traditional, yet with some cool mechanics. And each game in this series, there's a standard rule set that you have, and then you have kind of some unique rules for that particular game in the series as we kind of look at this. Now, they do vary in scale and scope and size of the combat. This one is sweeping, as we'll see, in terms of how it covers basically uh, the entire Western Africa campaign here, which is going to be kind of, uh, of fun. So we can take a look at some of the features on here. It's uh, complexity is medium. I, I feel like compared to where war games are right now, I would almost argue that this would be kind of low to medium, at least looking through the rules and things like that. It doesn't seem like, I mean, it, yeah, maybe medium. It doesn't seem like there's anything in particularly challenging here, and the rules look like you could really digest them quickly and start to jump into play. One of the things I do like about it, as I can show here in this little picture as well, is that there are a ton of scenarios. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten scenarios of varying lengths. The longest is Operation Compass, which is a campaign starter race to the wire. Operation Crusader are, are 20 plus turn campaigns. But then there's one, two, three. Three, can three games that are act three scenarios that are actually only one turn. And then you've got one, two that are two turns, one that's five turn, one that's seven turn. So you've got a lot of different game options, scenario options to play. If you don't have a ton of time, you can pull out one of the maps and do one of the one turn or two turn scenarios. You've got medium length. You can do some of these other scenarios. And there are four maps in the game, as we'll see. Some of these scenarios, two of them only involve one map. Three of them involve two mats, two mats and f uh, maps, and five of them involve all four mats. And each map is 22 by 34 inches. So a four by eight table is uh, probably the best thing to have available if you're going to do some of these four map series. So you definitely will need some table space, as we shall see when we look at the map. Um, let's open it up though and get take a look at it here. A lot of fun. I'm I'm a, a sucker for North Africa. If I see North African maps, it kind of goes back to that old Africa Corps mentality. When I see that map, it just makes me want to play, and I couldn't resist getting this one. Uh, two dice, a red die and a white die, six-sided, so very basic. And again, this is <clears throat> kind of meat and potatoes wargaming, right? So there's not a lot of flash and extra features. You're going to get a lot of counters. You're going to get maps. You're going to get murals, and it's going to be go get at it. So when we look here, at first up, we get the standard series rules. This is version 1.8 that comes with the game. Black and white, matte paper. I'll show some close-ups. Very standard, very straightforward, very clear. Everything's written out. And again, as we're seeing here, there are eight pages, and the eighth page is the designer's notes. So you're not going to be spending a ton of time here reading through the rules. I mean, they advise, as kind of looking at the beginning section, where it mentions uh, read through the rules once, just take out a few uners, units and set them up for each side, and then start having them go at it. And then after you do that a couple times, you should feel ready to kind of jump in and to start playing the game. Because it's pretty straightforward. I mean, zones of controls, combat, movement, some step loss things and stuff like that. Not a ton of complexity here. The rules look very clear, very easy to understand. Um, and they're not super, they're just... There's, they're not complicated. This really is let's get started type of wargaming. Uh, first play, here's the, even the sequence of play. It's just movement, combat, exploitation. So movement after combat, supply, and then repeat the above role, switching with your opponent. So let's get at it kind of thing. So um, fun. I mean, I, I've been di digesting a lot of rules lately, so I really appreciate the idea that I could probably sit down with this in an hour or so, jump right in, and get started playing. Here is a little sheet you get that tells you how many sheet you get that tells you how many things are in the box. 
But here are the particular rules uh, for the scenario for this game in itself. Now, this is 28 pages, which may th let you think, wow, this is much longer than eight pages. What's going on here? But the unique rules here, are, and a lot of these are just kind of talking about the maps and the scale, and which we probably should mention here too, because this is a rather expansive map. And uh, this one here, the hex is five miles. A turn is one month. Um, activations vary but represent one to two days of high activity. Units range from company to division in size. So that gives you a little bit of the ideal of the scale. And as we're kind of talking on scale, it's probably worth mentioning that this originally, my understanding from reading the back of the box, I'm not familiar with the history of it, but from reading the back of the box, it sounds like this is a scaled down version of one of their OCS games, which is the Operational Combat Series games, which are much more complexity involved with those games. And the idea was to take that game, which was on the North Africa campaign, scale it down to make it faster playing in the standard combat system rule set. So this originally was a much more complex game that they've distilled down to a core experience so that they can get it in the standard combat series format to make it a little bit more accessible and fast playing. So it does have a history of kind of evolution here that we're looking at, which is seems like this is the second evolution of this. So here we have some of the special rules for this particular game, some of the different units, uh, some of the sequence of play modifications apparently, reinforcements, um, nothing particularly you know challenging, airstrike determinations, You've got some administration, some activations, and this isn't much here again too, it goes through forts and leaders, supply units, I guess there's some here, I mean we're up to say, page seven, and then some optional rules and stuff like that, but I mean most of these are just kind of obvious things where they're talking about kind of some special counters and some special kind of different rule set, different mini rules that you have to handle. So nothing that strikes me as being overly complex or difficult. So then you might be wondering, okay, what's the rest of this uh, rule set in incorporate? These are all the different setups for the different scenarios. So you can see the starting setups and special rules and victory conditions for the different scenarios. And that is one of the things I think that gives this game, it looks to me like it's going to give the game a lot of replayability, is the fact that you've got 10 scenarios, you've got some monster scenarios here that are 20 turns, whole campaigns, and you've got some one turns, one uh, games for shorter experiences. So looks like there is a ton of replayability in the box with just the, the vast amount of scenarios you've got a chance to play. So that goes on, then we have some order of arrival information, other information basically on setting up things, some designer's notes here at the end, and then a random event table, some developer notes and player notes, and then combat uh, combat table on the back here as well as some terrain effects, charts, movement. So not a ton of flash and extra charts and stuff like that. You're not gonna be digging into tables. I mean, these as far as I can tell are really the only tables that I've seen so far. So you've got terrain effects, charts, and combat tables. So again, kind of highlight the, the basic simplicity, if you would, of the standard combat series. Here are our counters. We've got uh, two counter sets, and I'll show some close-ups on these. This is the Allied Forces counter set, mainly British forces, although you've got a lot of the other Allied nations in here as well. Uh, you've got three numbers. I'm probably attack, defense, and movement, perhaps. I'm, I'm kind of guessing here, not really having dug in so far. The right side of this, of course, is some combat markers. There is a step system, so we can see that most of these units have a second side to them. Uh, that's going to either have a different type of combat marker or some of the different statuses on that unit as it kind of goes through its first step to its second step. And that's that's kind of an assumption, but I know there is a step system in it, and it looks like these are basically a full-strength format and then a half-strength format, if you would. Here are the Axis forces. We've got, I imagine, yep, these Italian on the right-hand side in this kind of aqua color, and then the uh, yellow is the German Africa Corps. We've got some leaders, Rommel and then Maletti up here as well. Um, and again, much the same thing. Some aircraft units for airstrikes. Supply units, of course, a big factor in desert combat is supply. And then again, these, the two-sided units, are stepped on both sides. So you can see the combat counters there. Now, this might be the favorite part of the ones I've seen so far. Here is the map. And I'm going to show a full spread out of this as we kind of look at this. I love the color palette on this mat. It just makes you want to play. It's kind of the old Africa uh, Africa core from Avril Hunt Hill, except on steroids. I mean, the attention to detail and the amount of information here that's there is just spectacular. Um, I'm going to show a whole one that's spread out so you can see the whole thing here. And then I'll show a couple of close-ups of smaller sections on the map too. 
And so we can kind of take a look at that. Got a lot of different little player aids along the outside of the map. Now there are four of these, A, B, C, and D, each one 22 by 34 inches. So you're looking kind of at a, almost, a, almost a four by eight setup when you're finally done with it. And I'm not gonna show uh, the full, you know, the same ones on each of these, but they are equally spectacular. Here's a train effects chart on the map. And we've got uh, turn markers on this other one that we'll take a look at in a second. So various player aids up to the northern part of the map where the ocean is. But a lot of different little towns and stuff. I mean, this is, ah, uh, it just makes you want to play. It just looks really fun. So here we have map D. We can see the turn record chart here. And again, more goodness in the desert as we look through this. I love the yellows and the, just the colors and the different rough terrain markers that are here. It looks really fantastic. And that's it. So, I mean, not a lot of frills here, right? You've got the four maps. You've got the two counter sheets. You've got some simple rules. And, and let's get at it. But a lot of gameplay with the different, I mean, 10 scenarios, tons of counters, an extensive campaign, extensive, beautiful looking map. I'm really looking forward to digging into this as kind of an introduction to the standard combat series. So hopefully get this to the table and perhaps even get a video on this coming up soon. Excited to play. That brings us, I think, to the end of this unboxing. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And uh, let me know what you think. Have you had a chance to play the game? I mean, it's just been released a little while ago, 2021. Uh, kind of bought it on a whim once I saw the North Africa map, and I do not regret it so far. Although the real test, of course, comes with anything is when you get it to the table. But uh, I'd be curious to hear people's impressions if you had a chance to play it yet or have, a chance, have had a chance yet to dig in. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you again shortly on the channel again, and uh, have a great day.